Hi guys, welcome to the second edition of Savvy Money Shows. Is it a crash, correction, or just a dip to buy? Now, if you find any of today's entertainment helpful, don't forget to smash the lovely like button. It helps with the YouTube algorithm and getting the video out to more people. If you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and bell notification. You'll be notified when a new video gets uploaded. If you're looking for a free trading platform which to trade your stocks and shares, don't forget to check out the links in the description below. You'll get a free share worth up to £200 for signing up and depositing a small amount. Free trade only requires a £1 deposit to qualify. The others require £100 or dollars, depending on which one you, you go for. I appreciate you giving up your precious time to watch this, especially with everything going on. And I appreciate every one of my subscribers. Now, on with the show. And, if you remember... I spoke before about preparing for something like this with gold. If you look at the way gold has jumped, it is close to the 2012-2011 prices. You see the similar trend from 2011, where it jumped up to new highs, dipped and then went up in 2012 to highs never seen again. Now... In 2000, just before 2004, it dived again, and then towards the end of 2012, we saw another high, but it never reached that peak again. I think this is on a similar run, and you see it there, where it is quite extraordinary. It's not far off here. And I think it's going to go further because I think this may, some experts are saying that this is going to be hit with a larger hammer than before and it's going to last longer. And technically, if you look at trends, you look at the charts, that's what should happen. And before you start, oh, oh no, <laughs> please no, no. What's happening here? Let's go and sell. There is one thing that could uh, stop it yes it's mr powell savior of the universe or at least america's economy or at least america's stock market crash he could come in and save the day who needs superman eh now the problem is that he says there's three trillion dollars ready to go ahead but when stocks like amazon have gone up 47 percent in the last three months he may wait for a bigger dip before he starts injecting just to see if other companies go and start buying a dip and bring it up on their own uh, without them having to put money in uh, if, if you bought gold when I said, then you would be up. But if you remember, I said gold was below, uh, Barrett Gold was below uh, its intrinsic value. It pays a small dividend. And it, it, if it's below its intrinsic value, then it's worth it in good times uh, and as a hedge against the bad times. Same with CVS Health. Now, people have said to me, what am I looking for during this? No, I wish I could afford to buy it. But I did a breakdown of his companies before and the money. And to tell the truth, this is at its value. This is just at its value. Uh, well, it's uh, below its intrinsic value at the moment. So you're getting a company just below its intrinsic value and the uh, one of the best management structures you can find for free. Now, the B shares. Again, now, when you take the P ratio and you... Although the P ratio there is... But if you take the basic PE ratio before all this and you 
also take the cash on hand as well if we if we take the future PE ratio and the cash on hand forward PE put the cash on hand brings it down to nine and a half because the cash they have on hand as I said with the A shares actually gives you a 10% profit margin now this has gone up a dollar when I done the cal when we done that calculation is 177 and I have to say I have to thank another youtuber who's a friend of mine uh, and I'll leave his details down below if you want to check him out he's pretty good and he's uh, who put me onto this and done it I think it's worth picking up some shares in this I ha have a stock alert for 165 I, that is where I'll be scooping up loads of it and don't forget he's got the cash on hand to take to really go in I think there's going to be more bankruptcies I do but I Saying that, I do think the Fed will step in. I just think they're not going to step in straight away. Uh, if it hits 175, 165 to 175 is my price point. That's where I'll get in. Uh, if uh, I miss it, I miss it. But that's the price point I set for this. I said about Disney before. And I said 107 was intrinsic value but I also said before with everything going on and all the risks uh, 98 88 to 98 was my price point that hasn't changed uh, now if it drops 88 to 98 on this news I'll scoop some up if uh, if it doesn't if it drops below 107 and then I, I see it going back up I may pick up a small position ready to pick up the rest but uh, I'm not going to pick up at 107 it's almost there anyway I'm going to wait for the news to settle in and for it to drop even more uh, my price point is 88 to 98 I'm not changing that if it st starts if I start to see it turn around at 100 I may pick up but you have to come up with your own plan now, the thing is, the S&P 500, asking whether it's a correction, whether it's a, a crash, whether it's a, uh, a dip. For that, if it dips below 3,000, I think we're heading for a, a crash, similar as that. Uh, another crash but if at the moment it's at 31 but if it if it drops below that quick without intervention then we will have a crash now if we have if it takes a few days to get there then that's fine but if it dips in the next day or two I think there'll be a crash if it's if it stays between 30 and 31, I think it'll be a correction and I think people will be buying a dip. Remember what I said, we have the bank stress testing coming out today. Uh, if that comes out good, I think that will help prop it up. If that's bad news, I think that will send it some shares tumbling and it will send the market tumbling even further. We, another thing people don't seem to be talking about, one or two are, but I don't think enough of the market is is that the pension schemes will and i mentioned it before they come usually come out of the market around this time they're towards the end of june and go into bonds now pension schemes will have made a lot of money now and now is the time they usually come out they could see this and think be worried there's another crash coming and if they're worried there's another crash coming, then they may think we've made enough of a profit, we're pulling all our money out, selling it, sell everything, going to bonds. Uh, you know, and that could 
help tank the market or at least put in a correction phase so I'm not saying don't buy the dip I'm saying be careful the companies you do buy any of these companies that don't have good balance sheets uh, be wary of I said before I'm not going into companies like McDonald's that have 110% debt to equity uh, I said before my reasoning behind McDonald's how their growth seems fake because it's funny how they were going sideways and all of a sudden they started going up when they started borrowing and doing a share buyback so the growth seems fake so some people don't care about that they just care about the share price growing but it can't keep growing when you have that much debt on your books and you can't keep doing share buybacks with that now you I understand you have to come with your own plan you have to come with your own theory but you also have to look at the fact that I said Tesla price point the first price point would be 940 hit 940 and then it went back up again I think it will dip back down again but I think it was people who were buying the dip and all of a sudden people there was people selling on the bad news people buying on the dip and pushing it up again I think they will sell once it reaches a certain price and then it will go back down again anyway I hope you enjoyed the show don't forget to hit the like button don't forget to comment even if you disagree with me and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.